Hi, this is Asker. This morning I received an email from a client of ours and she was sending us feedback and as I could read through the feedback, I could see the, that there were a couple of points where she hadn't been that satisfied with the course and that hit me, you know, it made me a little bit sad and, you know, not that happy obviously. I, I obviously always like to see happy feedback and that the people loved the course. It's not like she wasn't happy about the course. It had she had some good points and, and actually she signed up for another course later, so she hadn't been that disappointed. But it, it hit me. And as you know, I'm all about living the good life and, and trying to get in a positive state and, and learn. But but this morning I was really hit by it. Um, so I, I thought, you know what? It's a test for you, Asker. You have to live up to the things you're talking about. So after having read the email twice, I started thinking about it a little bit. Okay, um, this is actually a chance to learn. It's my chance to grow. Obviously, when we keep a workshop at Taylana, it's not gonna be perfect. It's never gonna be perfect. We always try to make it perfect, uh, but there have been a couple of points she thought we should improve upon. For instance, she said the exercises were too short, there was not enough time, and also the introduction to the purpose of the exercise hadn't been thorough enough. So, well, I think that was a good point actually, and, and I might, uh, I, I think I'll do that next time. Give a bit more time, maybe a little bit less content, and, and go a little bit deeper. So that was very valuable, but I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how I got back in that positive state where we can really outlive our potential because I was obviously not in the best state to go out there and, and, and crush it if you have negative thoughts and ideas. So what I did was I did obviously my 15 minutes of uh, physical exercise that I do every morning. I did another exercise which really helps. That is to open up like your chest, you know, this is our vulnerable part. This is, you know, we, we don't go like this to the, to the lion. We want to keep ourselves open and that opens up, up our energy, our energy field. So what you can do, and it will work, I trust me on this, if you do this for two minutes, you're going to have a really strong sensation, which is put your hands behind your back and open up and be like, breathe. <sighs> 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 When you do that for two minutes, you're going to get so much oxygen into these vital organs. And trust me, you will feel this. You're going to have like a bubbling sensation in your body and it will work for you. The third thing I did was I started being grateful for what you wrote. I started thinking, hey, you know what? This is my chance to learn and grow. And this is what I often see with feedback and I must sometimes a victim of that myself. But take feedback as something positive, as something constructive for you to get better. So feedback is not something I'm just gonna punch you in the face or in the stomach. Take it in, you know what, if it's not usual, uh, useful, throw it out. I've been given feedback that was complete nonsense and just throw it out. That's a tip I learned in the military by a guy who said, you know what, all the feedback you get, listen to it closely. Consider it, think about it, and the things that make sense to you, take it in. The rest, you throw over your shoulder. So how do you take feedback, and how do you get over that negative state if you are in one? That was today's video. Take care, have a wonderful time, bye.